follow my way and now I'm giving my own commentary on what does he mean by this. Uh, Meaning for, if we're going to, we can't add to the text. Okay, fine. Okay, so let's stick to the text. Let's just stick to the text. All right, let's, 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 okay, right? okay, let's just stick to the text then. So I, I am the way meaning follow my way. Follow me. Follow me, yes. Exactly. I am the way, my method. For I am the life. Follow my, my life example that I'm setting you. Yes, and he is life. This well, he doesn't say he, he is life. This is, this is he said, I, no, he didn't say he is life. I no, but now you're adding it. You've asked me not to add it in, so I'm asking you not to add it in as well. We're going explicit with the text. No, I did. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. So, I'm wait. So, so, how? Okay. Hebrew text. Okay. Translate into English. Right. Hebrew text. Yes. Translate into English. It's the life. I am the way, the truth, and the Yeah, but it's not in Hebrew. You mean in, in Greek? Yeah, Hebrew and Greek is where the Bible has been from. Well, Translation it, of it. But we don't have the Hebrew text of the Old New right, Testament. Exactly. We've only got the New Testament. Let me explain to you. Okay. Okay. What you do just listen to my explanation so when he says i am the way the life and the truth let me elaborate on what, what i understand by that okay, so i've understood fully what you've said okay? Yeah, okay so by the way i understand the way is that my way is the way to go because the way of you people has gone corrupt outside of your religious temples you have because you have gone up to no good alex listen carefully so that's the way follow my way then follow my life, the life example that I'm setting you to lead. Follow this life because the life that you people are leading is gone away from God. And I am the truth, meaning I'm telling you the truth. I'm not making things up. I'm not saying anything out of my own behest, of my own free will, I can do nothing. So all, that's all he's saying. But you know, this really shocks me, Alex. When people use this verse to somehow show that Jesus is somehow a God, all he's saying is in that context. It's ever he was telling the truth what he wasn't. Yeah, but see, this is what we're discussing here. So what we're saying to you... <laughs> what I'm saying is, I thought what he said was true. Yeah, we, it was true. It was true. So why are you not following? But what I'm was, saying to you, we're, we're following according to what we're viewing on the text. You're following it with a pre... Listen to carefully, Alex. Who do you respect, my friend? We are, we are, you are viewing that with a pre-assumption that he's God and that, hence, you are reading into what he is saying rather than reading the text for itself plainly. But well, the text itself plainly says... Do you know why he was... He, he actually said he is God, that's why he was killed. Okay, now let's hear that. Where does he say he's God then? In, in the scriptures, that. Uh, give me one, just one single say, reference. But if I'll give you the reference and then you go... But if you, if you study and you, and you understand the story of Jesus, okay. they crucified him because of blasphemy, that's why he died. Right? Can, I, can I ask you, can I address that point to you? Shut, shut, I, I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Listen carefully, Alex. You're a good, nice guy, so I'm enjoying speaking to you. Listen. So you just said that they crucified him because he claimed to be God. Let me explain to you. You are referring to Mark 14, 61. Yeah. Where he, he appears before the Sanhedrin. And they don't say to him, are you God claiming to be God? Rather, are you the Christ, the son of the living God? And he says, I am. For you will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. So notice the accusation the accusation is simply are you claiming to be the messiah it doesn't the accusation made against him yeah, yeah, was yeah. is not that he was claiming to be god because they were trying to fabricate alex evidence against him however they couldn't materialize the evidence that he's claiming to be god so all that all they're claiming is that what well, he already are you the the christ meaning the messiah which Islam affirms to him as well as you're aware. Is it Alex? He said many times he was God in the TV. All right, so now, okay, so now you, you, you okay. tried to give me this, which, which did, okay. So you showed we'll to just, me. We'll, we'll just go back and talk on it. No, but, uh, but Alex, my friend, something else oh, my good friend. But if you, you can't no, but what I'm trying to say, you said to me, listen, I asked you, Right, show yeah, me every, the and, way, the truth and the life. Yeah, so we've already gone for you. I understand that, but if you, you have to first understand the Old Testament first before you even get there. Okay, so where does it, so, okay, so where does um, the Old Testament quote John fourteen six? Huh? So where does the Old Testament quote John fourteen six, where he says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life"? There are many, there are many references that speak of. Um, see, we're going to go into another discussion. But John, Baba, but, but, Holy Spirit, Alex, my good friend, listen to me. Listen, listen, listen break this down. Alex, you know you can watch this tonight. You won't be in the picture. So the camera's facing towards me, so you're not going to be in it. No one's going to know who, have a clue who you are. Watch it tonight on a channel called Sam Dawa. Sam Dawa, D-A-W-A-H. You, I asked you, okay, after we discussed John 14, 6, show me a verse, and you said there are many. 
I then said, I don't, I don't talk about yeah, no problem. Then I asked you, show me one. Then you said that they, they were trying to crucify him for blasphemy. So I'm telling you where this incident of this accusation is made against him. However, what you're trying to say is claimed to be God. That's why they've um, um, uh, crucified him. However, what would you say he is life? He is life, though. No, but listen he to what I'm saying. He is life, and he is life. So yeah. You, you, you just yeah, but what, mean, what do you mean by the? Else? What what, did, what does life mean? Okay, let me ask. What does life mean he then? He is life. Okay, what does that mean then? So you're saying with, without him, there is no life. Precisely. Exactly. So that, which means, which means to those individuals, follow my life. Follow my example to you, the life which I am leading, because your life. Not just them. Not just them. But he's addressing those individuals just, at the no, time. It, it, was, it wasn't just them. No, but he's speaking yeah, only to yeah, Thomas. Of course, speaking to Thomas, but it, it wasn't just it wasn't just them. Okay, but even if it wasn't them, the fact. And okay, I, okay. When you're a Christian, you're obviously going to follow after his ways. All right, like, so like just that's, say. That's, that's, that's too yeah. So I accept what you're saying. Just say I accept. But still, all it shows is that you follow my life. It doesn't show anything more than what you're trying to sh envisage or trying to understand by he's the only one that said that he's the only one that could come out and boldly say i'm the way the truth and the life yeah. so he's saying okay. everything else outside of that is a lie okay so <laughs> yeah but it's, you know, you know no, saying? Yeah, if okay. you saying i'm the way the truth and the life then everything else outside of him is a lie this yeah so be exactly because exactly I, I would agree with that agree because with that. That because right? he addressing those individuals who are astray so he's trying to show to them that as he is God's representative, he can be the... It's not, not just representative, he was God here on earth. Yeah, but that's something you're now assuming in. And then you said to me, you, then you said to me, let's check where he was uh, crucified for blasphemy when he was brought up as evidence of that. But I'll show to you that incident that is in, John, is in Mark 14, 61, where the accusation made against him is, are you claiming to be the Messiah? Note, it doesn't, it doesn't because your point would hold that it's claimed to be God, Hence, they are crucifying him for blasphemy. But they, are, they haven't said, are you claiming to be God? Rather, they've said to him, are you the Christ, the Messiah? To which he confirms. And Islam, as you are aware, if you read the Quran and you know the Hadith, that makes mention of him as being the Christ. Yeah, so the so what I'm have, the so, so show me another verse. Bring no, me another I verse. The, the issue you have is just a prophet. That's the issue you have. You know why we, you know why I believe that's, that? That's the issue you have. Alex, you, do you know why I do you know why I believe he's a prophet? Do you know why? I mean, am I making it up or am I just having my preconceived notions because I'm a Muslim and I don't want to see Christ as any other thing than a prophet? No. And the reason is one, and it's gonna make sense to you. What does Jesus himself say of himself in the Bible, Alex? explicitly from his mouth mark chapter 6 verse 4 matthew chapter 21 verse 11 he says that he is a prophet i'll give you the reference once more my good friend alex mark chapter 6 verse 4 but you can go home and watch this tonight and then cross reference everything if i've told any pork is to you no, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm here. I'm, I'm here know, every day. I know, I know the scripture. Okay, good. So what I'm saying to you, yeah, fabulous. Okay, so, okay, good. So basically speaking, he's you know the scripture, of course. So I'm not meaning to condescend you when I say that. I want you to understand where I'm coming no, from. No, no, go on, go on. So you, because then he says he's a prophet in the, and there's many other in, in Luke's gospel, in John's gospel, he, he claims to be a prophet as well. But anyway, let's go back to the point. Then I ask you, with due respect to you, where does he show he's God? And so far, it doesn't appear to me that you've given me any evidence. Many, many, now, I want to share something with you. Which, it. Alex, just check this out. You're an intelligent young guy, yeah? You've been, have you been born and brought up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so check this out. Read your scripture tonight. Go home. My, the viewers are aware of me continuously using this verse. Matthew chapter 9, verse 3. Contemporary English version. Why won't you read from the Amplified version? Why are you that? Because it's the same thing in essence. But no, I read the... It's not really the same thing in essence. It is. You know what? The verse I'm quoting to you is in fact the same meaning. It's not from English, so it's trans translated from one language to another. Yeah, in Greek. So for you, exactly. So you need to would un have to understand the, 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 the Greek and the Hebrew meanings. So what you're saying to me, the contemporary English version? No, I'm very, not saying no, it's well, good to the I, version and I read it. Okay. I'm just saying to understand certain texts and certain words. Yeah, you have to read text, the Greek. You have to know the word. Yeah, so I'm, I'm aware of the words. So it, 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 so, I'm no, so many different things. Yeah, so I'm aware of the Greek words. Exactly. This, check this out. So in Matthew chapter 9, verses 3 and 4. Nice and let's really absorb the information. It's very straightforward. Jesus forgives the sins of the paralytic man. 
He says, your sins are forgiven. The Jews think to themselves, Christ must, Jesus must think he is God. Jesus responds to their, their thought. He says to them, because he can read their thinking. Why do you think such evil things? They didn't, but they didn't believe in him. No, but now listen to what I'm saying to you, my friend. This is where Christians seem, you, I want you to hone in what I'm saying to you. Jesus has forgiven sins. Listen, okay, wait, okay, what, what Muslims do? I know Muslims. No, but I'm not misquoting. I'm not misquoting though. I'm telling you. No, you get should we, should we read it over here? Let me, let me show you it to you. get a scripture and just... No, but I'm not bending it. I mean, I'm, uh, and bend it. You added to a text earlier when you started. No, but that you was just to, to give you an explanation no, you of what the term... To a text no, but you then later also explained to me I'll what you never understood. To, never add to it. You never, never added to it, but you gave your explanation. Uh, I even said to you, I even said to you when I was explaining that this is my own understanding of what it's saying. Yeah, but I'm not adding to it. But I that clear I'm not adding to it okay listen to this and you're referring to the Jews which the Jews didn't believe in him anyway to start with yes so then any argument you want to bring is invalid because they didn't believe he was he, he, he but was, the fact he, he remains anyway. okay fine so, okay <laughs> so, so that no no but this still invalidates your point on this basis look and I'm going to show it to you so that you think I'm not putting a fast one no but you're speaking about the Jews and the Jews didn't believe he was, he was, he was the Messiah yeah but they're saying the was no but they're thinking he's God according to this verse the Messiah is the Jews. no but listen to me, Alex listen Listen, Alex, pause, pause. Free from anxiety. Some of you say, oh, I don't need God because I'm doing well. But if you look at the world around you, okay. everything is leading to destruction. But Jesus said, if you okay. there is a life. So here it is. When Jesus saw how much faith they had, he said to the man, my friend, don't worry, your sins are forgiven. Verse 3, some teachers of the law of Moses said to themselves, why are you making, sorry, oh, we've gone up the top. Some teachers of the law of Moses said to themselves, Jesus must think he is God. Jesus responds to this thought. But Jesus knew what was in their minds, what they were thinking. And he said, why are you thinking such evil things? Meaning, they're thinking that because he's forgiven sins, he must think he is God. And to the thought, yes, of him, Say them thinking he's the rest. You can't just stop right. Yeah, but, but okay, but so, okay, but okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I will read the rest. I'm here. I'm not running away. So far, what have we established? I mean, we will continue to read. We've established th two things. Number one, they observe Jesus forgiving sins. Then between themselves, they think Jesus must think he is God to that thought because Jesus can read their mind he says to them of that thought why are you thinking such evil things meaning you thinking that I am God is an evil thought that's what this, that's what the text is saying my friend Alex 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 that's not what the text is saying Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> that's not what the text is saying okay what is it saying Alex you tell me that. okay oh, okay you tell me okay you tell me Alex go to this version go to the contemporary English version okay bring it up you are the Lord over my life. What, what, what verse did you go and get? So I've gone to the contemporary English version of Matthew chapter 9. Just go to Matthew chapter 9. Oh, Matthew 9. Yeah. And I look to you, Lord. And I say that you are my Lord and Savior. I say that I follow you. So here, I want to read it from this verse. I'm going to read it from the actual translation. What, why can't you read it from the I'm contemporary? Read, I'm going to read it from what it was actually translated from. Okay. From can, I have a, can, I have a, can I have a seat? Can I see? You can see here. But how do you know that's from Greek? Amplified is English. Is amplified. Well, so isn't this from Greek then? I'm going to read it from where it was actually translated. But you're, that's what you're, but you're not showing me how, why you believe that was actually translated from the Greek. It was trans the Bible was translated from a, a Greek and Hebrew. Yeah, Greek. so then, listen to me, my friend. But yes. it, so what you're so saying... You're reading the contemporary English. Okay. I'm going to show you what he was actually saying to them. Okay, so... The actual, all right, that's fine. You show it to me. And in the meantime, are you trying to therefore tell me this is an incorrect translation? No, I'm going to, I'm going to show you in, in, in what he was actually speaking to them at uh, the time. Okay, then. Go ahead. When it says, do not be... Do, uh, do not be Afraid, son, your sins are forgiven, yeah? Okay. 
and then let, let me, and then verse three, which you are talking about. Yeah. The Bible says, and some of the scribes said to themselves, "This man blasphemes by claiming he is God." Yeah. Okay. Verse four. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, "Why do you think evil in your hearts?" Right. Let's stop that now. Stop there. Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven and the penalty paid, or say get up and walk? Okay. Let's stop there now, please, please. Same thing. It's exactly. re relatively same thing, but just different words no, used. Not the same thing. Alex, my friend, please tell me how it's different, please. The same thing, my friend. They thought his sins couldn't be forgiven of, of the man that was um, paralytic. That's what they thought. No, they listen. Okay, that's what you understand. That's what Jesus was saying. Why, why, why are you thinking evil of this? Okay. That's what he meant in the sense. But listen, if that was the case. That was the case. Because he okay. was killed, and Jesus is the only one that did miracles. Okay. Well, many people. Testimonies. Well, so let's many just... prophecies of the Bible. Over two thousand five hundred prophecies. I just want to hone in. Yeah. I just want to hone in on your last point. You said the fact that he forgave sins, and because only God can forgive sins, the Jews then think that Jesus must think he is God, because that action could only be done by God. This is what they're thinking, and this to that thought that he is. That they're saying that he's thinking that he's God. He's saying to that thought, why are you thinking such evil things? I mean, the thought that, okay, anyway, we've exhausted, I've made my point. It, it now, was, let's it, continue. It was in the thought. Okay, but we let the, the okay. actual translation of where it was. Okay, let's just, okay. So now, in, towards the end of the verse, the ch chapter. Chapter 9, yeah. No. Yeah, and at the end, it says, the man got up and went home. When the crowd saw this, yeah, this is verse. This is verse number uh, eight. When the crowd saw this, they were afraid and appraised God for giving man such authority. So they're praising God. They're not praising Jesus. They're praising God that He's given man the authority to heal and to forgive sins. You have to understand the concept of the Trinity which you don't agree with so then that makes a whole different stuff but it's just going to go from conversation to conversation because the, the actual concept of Jesus being God here on earth being fully man being fully God is what you can't which, which what Muslims don't agree to so and what I, I would say Alex it, obviously this is a very fundamental and important <laughs> message for you that you believe is fully man and fully God so you would expect that if it's so fundamental you to your belief, which it, it, it is, of course it is. Therefore, you would ex it is, yeah. So Alex, therefore you would expect that Christ would say this explicitly himself, that I am fully man and fully God. We've already established that he explicitly says he's a prophet. The people saw he was fully man and he was fully God. But where does it say that? Where does anyone say that they saw him and they understood that he was fully man and fully God? Rather... They, they saw, they saw, they saw when he rose again, they saw. Where? They saw. Where did they say that? Where, where, okay, you tell when, me anywhere. When he, was, when, when, he, when he was with them before he ascended. They, when they, he was with them, when he was, when when he was, was with, with his disciples, right. before he descended, they, 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 they saw. Descended or ascended? Which ascended. Is? Went, uh, went to heaven, yeah? To heaven. Right. He was, Jesus was with his disciples right. for, uh, uh, is it, over 30 to 40 days, he was with them, right. performing signs uh, with them. Yeah. They saw he was. But what, what, what are you trying to show from that? Huh? What are you trying to show from they that? They saw he was good. But oh, it doesn't say anywhere. Okay, bring me that verse where when Christ, when he, when he ascends to God post resurrection, where he yeah. says that they understood him to be God. But you're gonna to need to show that to me. You, you, yeah, you, you need to show you because you just said two moments ago that when before he ascended up to heaven, in front of his um, compatriots, his disciples, he they understood and they said he's God. I want to hear this. Okay. Life is really short. Sure. Sure, sure. And at some point, everybody will die to this earth. And that means an afterlife. Acts 1. There is something that comes after this life. Acts 1 9. You might be young and you think I've got all the time. Okay, Acts 1 9 to 12. Okay. God is speaking as you say. 
The ascension, yeah? So here, Acts 1, 9. Acts 1, 9, it says, And after he said these things, speaking to his disciples, yep. he was caught up as they looked on, yeah. and the cloud took him up out of their sight, yep. while they were looking, intent into the sky, as he was going, two men in white clothing stood beside him. So I'm, I'm, I'm showing you, the disciples saw him ascend. Right. So where does it say that he under? You said to me. And he, after he after he said these things, that's here. I'm showing you. I'm explaining the text. That's Jesus speaking to his disciples. They saw him be ascend. Yeah, but then you said to me they saw him therefore because they seen him ascend. Does that make him God? They saw he's the only one that that rose from the grave. No, no, but died, no, but listen, Alex. Again from the grave. Alex, please and listen. And ascended, and listen. they saw it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Alex, you said to me earlier... The Bible's a truth or, or, or it's a lie and it's the truth. Uh, you asked me where... Alex, I asked Bible, you... Alex, I just give me two you. moments. Give me two moments. Okay, you said your piece. In Acts chapter 1, you asked me to go to verse um, 9, 10 to show the point. So you read out and before you did that, you said to me that when he, before he goes up, the disciples saw him as God. All this passage is showing to us is that um, is being taken up to in heaven, sure and, but it doesn't show where you said where he I'm the disciple said he's God. Where he says he ascended. But not you, my friend. He ascended. But my friend, what you said, Jesus ascended. That's Alex, what, I'm what you said to me, my friend, at the beginning, when I asked you for reference of where does he say he's God. And you said to me at the resurrect before he goes yeah, up post the resurrection, what, what, and then you said to me, right? And then, said, Alex, Alex listen, I can show you that as well. That's the matter. You can watch it tonight when you go home, or yeah. when well, whenever he uploads it. So basically, you broke me this verse, and, is, and you said to me that the disciples, when he ascended, saw him as God. But where does it say that? It doesn't say that anywhere. It just says, look, let's read it again loudly. Verse 9. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud had him from their and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking so intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside him. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. So where does that show that they said that he understood, they've understood him for him to be God? It shows, it, it, it shows in many ways. Like what? But you know, you said to me, this yeah, is... Yeah, I did say, yeah, yeah, it yeah. shows, because how can, if he wasn't God, how was he able to ascend? Because this is a, a power that was given and bestowed that God raised. Didn't God raise Elijah? Didn't God raise Elijah? From the grave, I'm talking, no one had been, no one had died and rose again like that three days I died for three days well you say he died for him you see no what we had done that. well you say that but I mean apparently from the Old Testament others do have that equivocation include yeah, people have died and, and, and rose again yes yeah precisely I'm talking like how he did what do you mean like how he did he rose from the grave actual grave I'm not talking just dying I'm talking buried like dead three days. Well, he wasn't in any grave. He was. He was. He was in the tomb apparently, but he wasn't buried. Yeah, exactly. But <coughs> apparently, he was in the tomb. Anyway. Jesus. But it still doesn't make sense. The fact, anyway, you, you've, you've, it doesn't, it doesn't, okay, listen, okay. And it doesn't make sense anyway because you've acknowledged that others are also raised up from the dead as well. But anyway, let's just get to the point here. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. So just to raise the point once more, my friend. Because we need to, uh, are you happy to speak further or do yeah, you want? Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, go cool. Go ahead, go ahead. So, what I invite you to is to worship the God of Jesus. Like, just let me finish. Then obviously, I would worship Jesus because he no is problem. God. He Fine, is you can. The life and he said, No man shall come to the Father except by me. Okay, we've already gone through it. So, there's no need to repeat that. Yeah, that's that's circles. That's fine. You can keep it as that. It's your, that's, that's your that's prerogative. Not that's not your right. That's the truth. That's your, okay, fine. You can keep that's your truth. Your truth. So, we no, let people. Okay, fine. The truth. The truth. Okay, as far as your truth. It's not my truth, so it's not as the truth. As far as okay. The truth okay, fine. All right, Alex. All right, Alex. So I will say in conclusion, I want to, I want to wrap up by saying this to you. I invite you to worship in the God of Jesus. Let me let me finish I invite, and then I invite everyone to repent of their sins. Okay. Because they don't know how long they have left. Yes. And if you die without Jesus then your eternity will be separated from Okay, as is fair, because you're a guest, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have the last word. You just say what you like to say. I don't want to overwhelm you with like detail. No, I'm, just, say, I'm, say, just, say. I'm just saying, my last word is that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves everyone. He came, he died for you. He has a perfect plan for your life. And he is the way, the truth and the life. Okay, 
I've that's really enjoyed speaking to you, Alex, my awesome. friend. God bless you, yeah? <laughs> Sam Dawa today. <laughs> 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 